Yep. And yeah, and so the um, you just take a look, right? From a search engine's point of view, how do they how do they figure this out? Throbber, the FB login heart, spin is light, FB login. Here you go. This is a, a well populated alt tag, although they're duplicates. Um, oh no, no, there's other numbers on them. DWF skirt one two three. That's actually okay. Okay, they have the same alt text though, because they're the same. They're the same oh. image from different. So it's like let's say I have a skirt and You're I want right. a front and a side shot or something. They're they're different angles, so they're different photos, but they're of the same skirt. So they have the same alt text, but they have different. The images themselves are different. Right, 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 right. Okay, so they're, they're different images. They're named differently, but they have the same alt text. So probably the takeaway here is um, to use unique alt text if you can. Um, I know that might be tough. Yeah, that one might be tough. Yeah. Yeah. What happens if you don't? Is it just, does it dilute it or just take the first one? Um, I mean, just the gen as a general best practice, okay. you don't want to be doing duplicate anything. Okay. Right. Um, so it might be a good one to fix. Um, and so do you, do you do any linking? Mm-hmm. From from your items to your other items? No, oh, uh, actually, yeah. So down here we have other items from this from this uploader. Oh, okay. Um, uh, the styles are a bit broken there, but it doesn't matter. So like, each of those is a picture of the item, and it will link to the page. Um, of that item, I think. Cool. Yeah, and we were talking a little bit earlier about how image links probably are not as good as text links That's from, a, text from yep. a search engine, but I think from a user, it definitely is better, right? Because mm -hmm. they can see what it looks like. So right. I, guess, I think that one's unlikely to go away. I and mean, if, if it's not as optimal, I think that's just um, the way it has to be. That's life. Yeah. 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 And again, the it's great to know all the SEO best practices, but at the mm -hmm. end of the day, you don't want those to supersede what's best for the user. So right. Um, take keep it keep it in mind, but do what's best for the user, right? So, so you don't need to worry about that that much. Is there any way you can improve it a little bit by having like alt text on those images and stuff? Does yeah. that help? Okay. Yep, I would include alt text on those images, trying to be descriptive as possible. Um, again, changing the URLs with to a more friendly name mm -hmm. um, would be better, but um, doesn't look like you can. Doesn't sound like you can do that. Um, yeah, I mean, you could talk to the designers and you know and see, but like I just highly, d I you know, if you imagine just sort of like a row of their titles there, it just wouldn't look the same. Right? Yeah, oh definitely. So. definitely. Okay, so let's take a look at your keyword research. Talk to us more about. I've never heard of Threadflip. Mm -hmm. How would I be convinced into signing up, checking out the site without being told by a friend? How would I find it? What type of things would I type in? What would I search for? So that's a bit difficult, I guess, because we've been primarily thinking about we would want to get people through friends. But mm -hmm. I guess um, if you weren't going through a friend, probably one of the things that would make you either want to go the most would be if you saw something there that you wanted to buy. Mm -hmm. So I guess items that you might want. We have a lot of vintage items um, because that's just what people upload. So if you're really into vintage stuff, um, that would probably be like a good thing. Also, if you wanted like used or discounted possibly designer things we have a bunch of that too so I, um yeah, I, guess, I mean i guess all the social stuff is really hard to describe like for sure i can't really imagine that you would really be like googling i really want to follow my friends wardrobes for example like that's right, just right, not right. if you're getting into it for the social stuff you would get in into it through facebook or yeah. something yeah exactly so. that's a really good point yep so that probably means um, outside of individual items, item names, which is a more, um, you have to sort of algorithmically do that, yeah. right? You, you, we wouldn't go and search for each individual item, but it sounds to me like vintage clothes, used yeah. designer clothes, and what was the other key phrase there? Um, or basically like cheap, like cheaper designer discounted. stuff, discounted, discounted. yeah. Right. Okay. Pre-loved? Pre Pre-loved? Pre oh, yeah, yeah. And that's a phrase that we like, yeah. Vintage clothes, pre-loved clothes, used clothes, discount, designer, 
clothes, vintage designer clothes. And I guess also shoes and bags and things like that as well. Not just clothes. Designer clothes, right, okay. So. Vintage shoes, vintage bags, vintage um, shoes, bag, clothes. Accessories, Accessories, I guess. I don't know if that's too vague, but yeah. Maybe second hand. Second hand. Yeah, I mean, yeah, second hand would be fine. It's maybe not exactly what we'd use as our marketing. You know, pre-loved yeah. sounds better than second hand, but if people mm -hmm. were searching it, that would, we would want that, right? Cool. So let's just take a look. Discount designer clothes. Vintage designer clothes is pretty low, but vintage shoes, vintages shoes. I spelled that wrong. Vintage bags, vintage accessories, discount shoes. So that is a <clears throat> probably way too broad and in a way different category than what we're going for. Discount shoes, right. twenty two thousand. That's probably too much to work with. So if it's if there are too many, that's almost bad. Yeah, and we'll, we usually, once we start to narrow it down, I like to go and do a search for the phrase and check it out mm -hmm. and check how competitive it really is. Um, but in general, when it's that massive, you got to think, discount shoes. Is this right. my customer? What's this person looking for? Probably not. Like, they're probably not thinking lightly used high heels. They're probably thinking, right. like, bulk right. children's shoes They're thinking something. a new pair of Reeboks right. for cheap. Right. Right. So, not our market. 